press start and welcome back to some more Legend of Zelda. Zoldo. Zoro. Lunch. <laughs> the Legend of Lunch. I forgot that we named the character that. The Legend of Lunch. One time my mom made this really good sandwich. The end. <laughs> you know what? I am very touched by that story. Um, so those mummy guys are called Gibdos. Um, Dig Dogger hates certain <laughs> kinds of sound. So that's the boss of this dungeon. Um, we're going to need the item from this dungeon to I kill him. I hate certain kinds of sound too. This is, so this is the first instance in a Zelda game where... Um, the first instance in a Zelda game... Um, this is the first time this happens in the series. Well, it's like <laughs> when you have to use the item to kill the boss. That's usually what happens. Can I at least... No. Okay, never mind. Whatever. Come back later with more bums. Bums? Every time I... Start, Are you the bomb squad? I am the bomb squad. Where did, what is that thing and where did you get it? What thing? That little bridge you can make. We got that in the last dungeon. <laughs> well, I'm talking about arm fall off, boy. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. That was in, that was that was very important. The public needs to know about arm fall off, boy. You're right. Yeah, that was the item we got in dungeon. Actually, yeah, we got in dungeon four. Um. Hello, James. James, you need to ask yourself: Is the world ready? experience on pull off boy i don't think we is are. humanity ready for that i don't think we are of course how but. could we possibly prepare oh yeah these guys die in one hit now because of the sweet sword we have so fun fact in the original legend of zelda or in the this is the original legend of zelda in the famicom version of zelda um the speaker act or the controller actually had a microphone in it. I think it was the second player microphone had a microphone in it. And every time you would scream into it, those little bunny things that keep popping around, they're called Pole's voice. If you yelled into the microphone, it would instantly kill them. And in the DS, uh, in the DS games, in the DS Zelda games, they would uh, the DS had a microphone, and they were in that game too. And you could, if you yelled into the mic, then. Doesn't that mean? Them. Doesn't that make Link a Dragonborn? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I think they're just really sensitive to sound. You keep picking up that item after you've already killed everyone. Well, that's when I get the item. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you about that one. You can. Oh, so you can get stuff stuck in the wall by stabbing it? That's nice. I should probably also be using my arrows more because they kill these guys in like one hit. I mean, it's better than being like, oh, whoop, the heart got stuck in the wall. I guess you don't get it. I mean, that would, that would kind of suck, right? What yeah. the... This is the boss. We can't is that the first in instance of the series of stab it in the eye? Yeah, actually. <laughs> But yeah, we can't fight him yet. We need a, we need bombs uh, to go kill those Dodongos. <laughs> so now we'll head back. Uh, woo, backtracking. You know, I think the bosses in Twilight Princess are probably the best part of the game. They're really fun. Especially like the second half of the water dungeon boss was really fun the um the mine the goron mines boss was really good i remember there was a giant spider yeah that you bashed its eye where you like bashed it in with like giant statues oh uh, that's goma we'll, fly, is, we'll see goma later in why this does game. this series have it in for eyeballs i really don't know there's the map We'll be back for it. Oh, we'll be back for it. All right. You need to watch Terminator already. I know. 
I love Terminator 2. Also, I heard Terminator movies started to suck after Terminator 2. So I stopped watching Terminator movies after Terminator 2. It's like, it's like you know... You know, it's like this movie provides what could... What could be a satisfying ending for the series. And I just want to leave it on a high note. Yeah, that's fair. Because Terminator 2 is really, really good. And I still want you to watch it. You need to watch it, Caden. I'll watch it eventually. There we go. Yeah. Oh, twice? I'll take that. Wow, was that enough bombs? What is that? What? So when you hit it on the side in a certain way, it stuns them. And when you stun them, you can go up to the front, stab them in the horn, and then they just die. And they drop bombs? I guess so. I just, I just stole his bombs from him with the sword. Normally stabbing a bomb isn't a good idea. But in this game, it's A-OK. -okay. <laughs> okay, this room could be a little bit annoying sometimes. Alright, let's just grab a ring. We can grab this fairy. Or not. So yeah, now that we're all like beefed up and stuff, enemies are like no problem to us. Yeah, I did not know this game switched to 2D. Yeah, that's because it does it very rarely. And I think... Jeez. Maybe you're not so beefed up to take up to take on three of them at the same time. Um, I believe there's a secret right here. Okay, I was wrong then. Sorry. There's the secret. You got flute. I did. Isn't it supposed to be an ocarina? That's it. In Zelda 3, or Link to the Past. I don't know why I keep calling it Zelda 3. That's in A Link to the Past and Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. Hmm. You sure? I'm not so sure Ocarina of Time has anything to do with an ocarina. Yeah. Seems kind of seems kind of sketchy to me. Yeah, you're right. Well... Yeah, here it is. I bet Minus you'd like 100. To have, I bet you'd like to have more bombs. So yeah, this guy actually gives us um, for 100 rupees. He'll let us carry more bombs. Um, then there's another guy like this in. Uh, which dungeon is it? Um, can we bomb this? If no. you need a bunch of bombs, maybe you should stop using them. We use bombs all the time. Um, no, but you said you need bombs for this boss fight. No, I don't. I needed bombs for the Dodongos. Oh. Which are now dead. You know something I kind of feel bad about that happened when I played Twilight Princess? What? You know the shop run by a parrot near the beginning of the game? Yeah. Well, I was just kind of dinking around. Oh, yeah. In that shop, and I was... I was, I like... I like picked up an item and I left the store because I was just kind of goofing off. I didn't even know you would be able to leave the store with an item you hadn't paid for. So I ended up doing that and uh, the parrot was like, oh, you're shoplifting. And then he would attack me every time I would enter his store. And I'm, and I'm like, I'm sorry, it was an accident. Just let me pay for it. <laughs> it's like, I swear it was an accident. Just let me pay for it. And then we can be good. But he just kept attacking me whenever I showed up. 
Yeah, I never figured out how to pay for that for a really long time. Because, like, it doesn't... Because, like, you have to, like, put it in, like, a tip jar kind of thing. And it doesn't really say that. <laughs> Man, it feels so good to be able to kill those guys in one hit again. Uh, why'd I say again? <laughs> I don't know. Probably because you've played this game before. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> I actually, I'm surprised because I was practicing last night and I thought that I would have to look stuff up, but I haven't looked anything up, even when I was practicing last night. Actually, here, screw it. We're using arrows. No drops? Okay, that's fine. We're at the boss anyway. Um, Alright, so we're about to use the flute. And there we go. <laughs> what a punk. Yeah, I know. Alright, so um, off screen, I'll just get like 100, I'll find somewhere to get 100, or like the rest of the 100 rupees or whatever. Maybe. I don't know. Nobody ever, like, talks about how you can uh, get bomb upgrades because it's so, like, there's two of them. There's two places where you can get bomb upgrades, and they're both so, like, out of I the I mean, way. how long is it going to take for you to get 24? I don't know. Um, well, the, there's another bomb upgrade, and it costs. But if I'm going to – here, we'll do it this way. If we have the money to do it, because keep in mind, we still have to buy that beef. <laughs> Remember the beef? Um, yeah. We're going to need that here in a little bit. Um, if we somehow get 100 rupees at some point, then maybe I'll go upgrade the bombs, but I don't know. It's there if you want it. Um, yeah. Anyway, so I'm going to go a little bit out of order here. And I'm actually going to go to Dungeon 7 first, because it's easier than Dungeon 6. I'm Caden, and I want to do stuff the easy way. Yeah, okay. It's true. Alright, so... Uh, dungeon 6 is kind of, like, right next to Dungeon 3, actually. Um, although this one's, like, really cryptic and hidden. And I don't, I don't know if there's any place in the game that tells you where it is. But, uh, actually, it's the wrong way. Um, it's actually, like, up here. I don't remember if it's the first... I don't remember if it's this first one or in the second one. It's one of these ones. Apparently, Suicide Squad 2 is releasing August 6th next year. Huh. Oh, here's a fairy fountain. They fully heal you. And provide upgrades to your clothes? Nope. Crappy fairy. Zero out of ten. Our next upgrade to the clo to our clothes won't be until the end of the game. Um, so yeah, we just play the flute here in this lake, and it drains the lake. As flutes do. <laughs> Man, I, I just love it. I just love it uh, when I feel like ruin ruining some people's people's day. When they just want to go out boating, I just go to the lake with my flute and drain the whole thing and ruin ruin all those ruin all the boaters' days. I do that every day. <laughs> oh, we found the leader of the pack. Um, let's see, is there like a hidden? So te wait, so technically, when the leader dies, all the others just kill themselves yeah <laughs> um right or left nathan uh don't don't put this on me I, the, 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 uh up go up oh 
Wow, oh, okay, I wasn't. Ex- I actually wasn't expecting that. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you knew everything about this game. Nope. You're a Zelda fraud. Yeah, I know. United Real Zelda. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. The only Zelda fans are the ones that only, uh, Jeez, ones that how only did, play how did, Breath of the Wild. How did Nintendo not get copyrighted or uh, get any copyright infringement lawsuit from DC Comics? I don't know. All right, we're not actually going to fight these jokes. I don't need to. All right, let's bring out the boomerang. I think... I think Nintendo hates DC. Do they? They're, kill, they're killing... You're killing the Flash. You're killing bats. Is there a snake-themed villain or superhero in, in DC? <laughs> I mean... There's Copperhead. Hmm. Let me see if I can find any more. Snake-themed... DC characters Copperhead <laughs> Come on anyone else So now we're going to go right, just because I'm curious as to what's over here. Oh, well, yeah, all I, can, all I can find is Copperhead. <laughs> wow, really? Yeah. Hmm. I also know about the Serpent Society, but that's Marvel, not DC, so... Oh, here's this joke again. <sighs> oh, you played the flu. I thought the game was glitching. No. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, there's too many skeletons. Let me get another key. So we can go up. Do you feel your... S- do you feel your sins crawling on your back, you dirty brother killer? Watch me be like passing up all of these like secret hidden like bombable walls and then like everyone's just like, what are you doing, you fraud? There's a secret in the tip of the nose. He's talking about the bomb upgrade, I'm pretty sure. No, he's telling you to blow your nose. <laughs> Actually, we don't need the. Just back up. Alright, so. Oh, there was a way to go. Okay. You know what? I'm, I'm gonna say it. I think this needs to be said. Don't say it. Wait, what do you think I'm gonna say? I don't know. <laughs> uh, so, so, what I think needs to be said. Sans would have been a better DLC fighter than Terry Bogard, and Cuphead would have been a better DLC fighter than Blythe. Don't correct me, Caden, because remember, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care how it's pronounced. Hey, long time no see. <laughs> oh, this is getting out of hand. There's two of them. Now there are three of them. Um, do you believe the rumors that Crash is going to be the next DLC fighter? I didn't even know if there were rumors about that. Oh. Now I do, I guess. Crap. Well, 
we're going to get some meat. Uh, it's embarrassing. I knew you'd redeem yourself, Flash. I knew you were always a hero. Uh, so, uh, I'm, I think I'm actually just going to end off this episode here, and then I'm going to go, uh, I'll go buy the meat, and we'll meet up back at the... <laughs> <laughs> we'll meet up. Shut up, Nathan. I'm not sorry. We'll see you guys next time for some more Zelda. <laughs>